The Morrison County Sheriff today announced new information in the Terry Brisk homicide case. Terry's once missing rifle has been discovered. Sarah Winkleman has the latest. Terry Brisk was found murdered on his parents' property on November 7th of 2016 in Bell Prairie Township, just east of Little Falls. From the start of this investigation, we actively pursued every lead that's been generated, which has been a slow and methodical process. But now, almost exactly one year later, the investigators have a new discovery. We've been looking for Terry Brisk's rifle since the beginning of this investigation. Terry's rifle is a Winchester 3030 lever action. Investigators assigned to this case knew that finding Terry's rifle would be like finding a needle in a haystack. We found that needle. We found Terry Briss' rifle. Immediately upon recovering the rifle, it was preserved and submitted to the Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension Laboratory. Although forensic analysis continues, we believe Briss' own rifle was the weapon used in this homicide. The Brisk family hopes that this new information will help lead to some answers. He was a very good person and he enjoyed his family very much and we miss him very much. It's a hard time to be without him. During a search for justice. This case remains a high priority for our agency. We will not give up until the person responsible for Terry's death is held accountable. Now, no additional information was given about the rifle at this time since the investigation is still ongoing. However, the Morrison County Sheriff's Office wanted to remind everyone that there still is a $30,000 reward for anyone with information leading to the arrest of the person who shot and killed Terry Brisk. Reporting in Little Falls, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. Anyone with information about the case is asked to call the Morrison County Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers of Minnesota. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.